Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, I would talk about salary of a PECA developer, both for a fresher as well as an experienced candidate. So let's jump into the video. So, so first of all, I would talk about uh, fresher salary. So about the fresher, they would be hired either through a mass recruitment or through some other uh, job portal where uh, uh, freshers are being hired, right? But the freshers uh, salary is uh, fixed when they are hired because at that time uh, they do not know about the technology or the project they would be working on. Uh, that also varies from uh, company to company but that is a standard norm, right? So it uh, also depends on what type of company you are being hired to. Like if you are being hired in a service based company like uh, TCS, Infosys or Accenture your salary would uh, be fixed around 3 to 5 LPA and you would not be knowing the project you would be working on also the technology you would be assigned right so there if even if you get a PEGA, de a PEGA developer project uh, your salary would be fixed right so coming to the product based company you might be hired in a product based company like uh, even PEGA systems hire a PEGA developer or some other product based company right so uh, when the, when it comes to a product based company their salary is uh, somewhat higher than a service based company so the salary can range from around 7 to uh, 10 lpa so uh, so even uh, there you you can get a pega developer job route right coming to an experienced professional right experience matters and uh, uh, it matters a lot uh, in it right so if you have an experience then you win the bet already has uh, an experience in a, as a pega developer he has worked on some uh, projects in his previous company then uh, he would be getting a good hike uh, so he can expect around 100 percent hike in his uh, current salary and also if he has done a certification it's like an added advantage he can get uh, more than 100 percent hike also right so this is about the a uh, candidate who already has a PEGA experience, right? Coming to someone who does not have the PEGA experience, like he's switching from some other technology. Suppose a, a candidate wants to switch from Java or, or Python or some other technology to PEGA, to, as a PEGA developer, right? So his salary would somewhat be less, uh, like hike would be uh, less than the one who already has an experience in as a PECA developer but if he do, does the certification like CSA and CSA then he would be in par with them then he can expect around 100% hike also in his current salary so this was about the person who is going to switch from other technology coming to someone who is not from a technical background but he has uh, a prior experience in IT um, is a BA or he's some other uh, domain, right? So he is not into technical domain as such. So there, uh, there is a catch, right? So uh, he doesn't have a technical expertise. So he cannot expect much hike in his salary because he has not done uh, such work that uh, that can assure the new company that he'll go do a good job here. So there you have to have a certification. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, uh, nobody will hire you, right? So he'll have to have a certification and he can expect around a 30 to 40% hike in his, uh, from his current company. So that, that's about it, right? So this is, this is all the salary uh, band you can expect as a PEGA developer. Uh, this is all about the video. Thank you all uh, for uh, watching this video. I would come up with the next video soon. Thank you. Till then. Bye.